Right, we're at Wanda Home because apparently it's a weekend special launch event for a lot of 2025 caravans. And there's offers and new Coachmans, Baileys and Swifts. So we'll go and have a look and see what we can see. Coachman Lusso 2, 52,000, bargain. Let's go have a look inside. Oh, we've got the second unit photography going on in here. <laughs> nice. Do you come with the caravan? Uh -huh, of course. It's very spacious. It feels huge in here, isn't it? Eight foot wide, obviously. bigger than our caravan. Obviously washing the carpets. Yeah, it's very plush this, isn't it? Should be at 52 and a bit thousand. You seem to be having difficulties with the kitchen. <laughs> How does it Look, work? It's got two doors. Like it's got, it, it's got, hang on a second. No, you got oh, that one closed. You've got a closed one to open one, I, I think. I'll be, oh, there you go. See there you go. There you go. So it's it's got like quite good access to this, but I feel like this should be on like some kind of a runner, but it isn't. So it's just I think they're trying to get away from that issue that they had with them scraping oh, the inside yeah, yeah. the doors by pulling them out. So instead of just put open access, you can literally get in from both sides. From both sides, so you don't have that pull out shelf. Very good. Smells very new, doesn't it? it? Does and look at this. I think this is lovely. It's a really lovely feature here because it's um sort flush. Of flush. Yeah, and it, it does feel really nice. We it could do with one of these on old caravan. Marble, very nice. I called it a granite on another video. Very well. tactile. Oh yes. Very That's... heavy. It's no wonder he's almost like two two ton. <laughs> what because of that? That sink cover. Well, it's all pretty substantial, isn't it? I mean, that's very heavy. Just admiring the different style of sink. It sort of matches. The fridge. Yeah, the fridge and not just sort of fridge sink, is it? Fridge. <laughs> no, that's why we didn't do a cooking <laughs> vlog. But yes, that's a that's a nice nice fridge or even a sink. <laughs> you, could that, you could wash and things. Look at this. Look at this. Pull it up like that. God, it's got all the like. It's got all the action. Got... <laughs> so, what do you think of it? Um, I 52,000 is just like way out of our... It's, it's nowhere, I mean... I don't think any caravan's worth over that much money, to be honest. No, I mean, obviously... <laughs> the new Bailey 2025 range, the Unicorn Deluxes. Now, I think we looked in some of these when we went to the Harrogate show. If you want to check out that video, this is the 2025 Bailey Phoenix GT 75440. It's a bit more in normal person's price range, I think. Yeah, French bed, full bed. And towable by us, I think, just about. So. Yeah, and end bathroom. End bathroom. We'll have a look in this one. I think we might have looked in this one before, but not the 2025 model. It feels really tight when you come out of it an eight foot wide one into this. Really it feels really <laughs> narrow. Yeah, this is basically the Unicorn version of our D44, isn't it? Exactly the same setup. A bit more space here. And I've got that media station. Where you can put your uh, speaker in there and stuff. And they've got the microwave in it as well, which we don't have in ours. 
Oh yeah, these drawers. Which but these seats I don't think as long as ours, are they? No, they're not as long. They're I, quite I narrow. I, I don't think I like this piece of wood. I do think the end cushions as well kind of like maybe foreshorten that a little bit. Maybe they are. Yeah. Maybe are as long, but we just don't notice because of this being here. Maybe. A bed like ours. Covered now, as and then down into the bathroom, which is very similar to ours. If this this does feel, all it does feel smaller than ours, but it's exactly the same, isn't it? Whoa! Oh, got a bit of a wobble. Don't think the steadies are down. So the fridge is on this side, where we've just got a unit on that side, a little narrow one, which we balance the microwave on. It does have the top though, doesn't it? Yeah, well we use our IKEA thing. We do thing. feel like that would be... A good thing for the next one. I'd, I'd like to get one that had, on the other caravans, like, you know one of those flush All things. All covered over here, so yeah. you don't have to feel like you put something on top that's a bit wobbly. I think you do get a little bit more cupboard space than that microwave as well. I think you do get a slightly bigger get kitchen area. Yeah. A bit more workspace than ours. Still limited, but better than what we have. So, if we had a bit more money and a bit, you know, maybe this would be the, an upgrade on ours, is it an upgrade? I don't know. I mean, in terms of like, yeah, maybe it does have, like, for the kitchen, it does have, like, a little bit more space in it. It's got the microwave. Bit less space at the front, I think. Bit less space here, and I, we we don't like having the... You don't like them with cabinets, do no, you, at the front? No, I don't. I'd rather have a U-shape or get rid of them so you've got a bit more, feel like you've got a bit more leg space, because those, with the three of us in, that is limit, isn't it? Mm. Oh, well, let's look at another one. All right, back to Coachman's, and this is a Coachman Acadia 660 Extra. What's the extra bit? Yeah, but it's eight foot wide, five berths, and it's only 36, almost 37,000. Not a bad price. Should we go and have a look? Interesting. Nice big L-shaped seating area and a little table in the kitchen. Nice, and a little end bed. And then throw into a bathroom and shower. And it's nice and spacious. I think this would definitely tick my boxes much more than, than that Bailey that we saw. Yeah. Coachman, you don't even like, even like the word coachman, do you? No, I don't, but actually, you know what I really like about this? It ticks is quite quite a lot of boxes because it's actually at a reasonable price. I love the fact that there's no handles. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to handles again. <laughs> Let me just get a close up on the lack of handles. There's not a single one. Um, it's really quite sleek. It's got those like, sort of very sleek lines. It's also got that U shape effect, and I just think that that is really great. It's really open. It's eight foot wide caravan for less than forty thousand, and that's especially the coachman. I think that's great. Yeah, it's nice. I like how it's sectioned off as well. So you've got this seating area, and then you've also got the lounge there, which is accommodating. It's quite generous, isn't it? You can sit round a decent amount of people here. You did the classic thing. Every project that talks about caravans has said the word generous. But I think it is because of all that seating space there, and you still got this space. And when you're not having that front unit at the front, near the front window, you can seat so many more people. I mean, obviously, I know it's eight foot wide, but not having that unit at the front, near the front window, just affords you to have it so much more flexible seating area. It just seems much more generous. Generous. It's very bed cosy. You're a bit of a clamber. You've got to do it, but you've got to be reasonably fit to sit upright and clamber to the gap in the corner. I mean, we're easy to be fit, but I imagine some people would be put off by that. We've noticed something here. This We've is... noticed here that it's not it's not <laughs> quite lined up. Look, here. Old CD alarm bells are ringing. <laughs> <laughs> You'd just sit and stare at that, wouldn't you? I would. I think it would freak me out, that, like, not quite aligned there. <laughs> right, that's it. Not getting it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say it. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah, it's you, a coachman. For some reason, you never, you never like coachman. Is it because of the way it says the word coachman? For some reason, the word coachman puts you off. But I you seem to really like this caravan, don't I you? I just think of the headless coachman. <laughs> I mean, it's from literacy in the, in the 80s. <laughs> literacy. 
Which is less than the skull. But yeah, no, I really like this. I love it. I love it. Yes, coachman. Well done. Well done, coachman. You've impressed, you've impressed Mrs. Hayhoe. You have. I like it a lot. Should we get one? Yes. No. No. 660 extra. Five berth. So you could probably get six in it. Special price at the moment. That's quite heavy though, MT Pillar 1805. You have to buy a tractor or something to pull it. Do you think people might be able to guess where that photo was taken in the media shot? Comment below! Yeah, if you can guess where that picture was, you win a special prize, a hey ho, let's tow sticker. That is a lot of 2025 Coachman models in caravans. This one is the Coachman Acadius 575, which is very similar to the Bailey we just looked at a moment ago. Is it a little bit cheaper? It's, yeah, about 4,000 cheaper. Let's go and have a look and see what it compares. This Coachman usually a bit more plusher, aren't they? Let's have a look. Whoosh. Sound effects. Yeah, it's very similar to that Bailey one. Yeah, similar layout to the Bailey we were looking at a minute ago. Seems to be a lot of room to move past that bed there. Bathroom seems a bit bigger. The styling's really nice as well, isn't it? I love the black details and the no handles. It just looks really sleek. No handles, guys, no handles. You had a little poke around this. Yeah. How do you think it compares to that uh, Bailey we're looking at a minute ago? I think this is really nice. I think there's a bit more room, it feels like, in the bathroom area. Um, I do really like the styling in this one as well. Um, Overall, it just, it just feels. Considering it it's feels four, really three or four. Nice, doesn't it? Three or four thousand pound cheaper. You think this is actually nicer than the Bailey? Which I think I, this I'm is shocked. much nicer than the Bailey. Yeah, and it, it even has a cover here. I don't think the Bailey had a cover on. I think it had a cover on the oven, but not on the sink. So they're yeah. sort of weighing up the two options there. But I the finishing and the design feels a lot nicer than the, the Bailey that you saw. I did. And it's cheaper. Oh gosh, sorry. You turn into a coachman freak. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. We've just gone back oh, no. and the Bailey we're comparing it to, which we thought was 36 is actually 26. So, so, so <laughs> the, the, the coaching was nicer, but you're paying more for it. Yes. So, so well done Bailey is quite a nice caravan for the cost. <laughs> well done Bailey, well done. Producing for. We, although we're looking at the 2025s. I can't help it, but she there's want, Adrias here. She wants to go and look at those. I we'll leave you to go. You've just gone, you've gone hiding one of those Adrias <laughs> for a little while. Bye. See you in about an hour. We found some Swift 2025s. We'll go and have a look in one or two of these, shall we? And everybody loves a Swift. Little ho, hey ho, I spotted this one. The Swift Spri Sprite Alpine. Woof, see does that? The Swift Sprite Exclusive Alpine 2. 26, 2025 model. Let's go and have a look inside this one. Nice. This is a two berth. I think yes, it is. I think it is. Nice little kitchen. Lots of dark woods in this one. Are we getting dark woods going back into fashion? Whereas the bellies all seem to go white this year. Oh, there's me. Little shower. Little sink. I want to have a dance Toilet. Party. You want a dance party? Not a bad little two berth. 25 grand, is that the prices of 
the small caravans in 2025. So we've got a two berth for 25, 950, uh, four berth for 28, 190. 28, 190 on another four berth. This Sprite exclusive Grande Quattro FP. I think we filmed this one when we were at the Harrogate show, 33, 990. These are the sort of prices he's going to be paying 2025. So we've had a look around at some of the 2025 models. We're going to look at some more, obviously, when we go to the NEC show. Uh, it's going to be interesting seeing what prices are like, isn't it? Yeah, I've just been looking at the prices. I, I can't tell if they've just sort of levelled off a bit. It was starting to get really expensive and yeah. I think they're still a little bit high to me. But the, there's some nice caravans. I think it's still your favourites, are the Adrias. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised though with the Coachman. I feel like they're almost like creeping up there. Yeah. Being styling, they've definitely been pulled back on the... Uh, Gentleman's Club vibe. <laughs> Gentleman's Club vibe. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the 2025 models and you can get an idea of the pricing. And uh, we'll obviously be going around the NEC in October show and we'll be filming a lot more, visiting a lot more caravans and taking you along with us. So. Definitely. If there's anything you particularly would really like us to go and see, pop the details in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. And. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.